Good day, everyone. Let's do a very, very quick job. What do we have? We have this 29 inch TV. This is some kind of very, very urgent job. This is coming from one of our customers. And the, the TV is already plugged. And you can see here. Maybe you can see here. On my far left, we have the red light for the standby. Pressing the power on, the standby light is changing from red to, to green. And basically, we have nothing on the screen. You can see the screen is black. The TV is on. You can see this, this green light. We must have a backlight. Even if I try to, to touch the screen, we don't have, we have light here. So basically, we have backlight problem. So let's see how we can fix the backlight problem quickly. This must be a very quick job, less than 10 minutes job. Okay? So what I will do, I will take all these screws and we'll come with the TV and check some things together. Okay? So I just finished taking out all the screws. And uh, maybe you can see, if you check here, our TV, you can see the red light is two on standby, pressing the power on, it's changing to green, our TV is now on, but we, we don't have backlights. So what I would do, I would check to see if we have any output on the backlight circuit? Forty six volts. Forty volts. So this seems this looks like someone wants to try to fix it. Because you see, check here, it's not connected. Let's power off the TV off. It's now off. Let me plug in the, the connector for the backlight strips on again. Still, we don't have backlights. So, how are we fixing backlights? You know, inside the TV, we have some LED strips connected, connected on. This is serial mode. You can see two wires. All these chips, they are connected in serial mode. One LED dying, the whole TV is dead. That's how things are working on a, on a LED TV. But it's very, it's very easy to prove that. Let me power off the TV. Let me look for another strip and then we test. We do have these strips. For the back lights, I'll plug in these chips here. I just want to see if these chips are going to light. Let's power on the TV. On, it's now on. And the strips are working. Look how bright these chips these chips are working. So for sure, without checking many things, we have problem with the backlights. So you have to get inside the TV. We have to get inside the TV and we'll see how we can fix the, the backlights problem, okay? So just wait for a moment. I'll check out the screen. And I'll come with the strips here, okay? So I just finished taking out the screen. And that is the inside of the TV. We have two strips connected in serial mode. Now, the thing that we have to do, we have to come with the power supply. Let me connect the power supply on the screen. So let's see now.
how do you find out which LAG is the problem? I can see this one. This one, someone once did something here. So let's play with power supply now. 17 volts. One seventeen volts. Seventeen point four two amps. One point nine amps. Let's check those strips straight away. Check this top this top strip. You can see I'm injecting 19 volts 2 amps. So my problem is not from this side. My problem is from here. So how do you find out which one is giving us our problem here? Let's lower the voltage again. 3.7 3 volts just to test this one is okay this one is, is not working this one is working. This one is not working. So I believe this is our problem. That's what I think. I think this is our problem. How would we treat this situation? That is a very good question. How would we treat this, 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 this situation? Or what I can do I can short this LED. Let me short this one. And I'll come with power supply. How can I do it? No, I can't. I can't do it. Let's show that LED. I'll short that LED. What I'm doing here is just a symbol. It's coming with a wire from the plus to minus. Just like that. Let's test it now. Is this strip now working? No, this strip is not working. We still have many problems here. No? <laughs> the voltage is too low. We need to go back to 17. Let's test now. And check here. 
The strip is not working. So, some might call this like shortcut, but uh, if you are to fix something, you do whatever you do to fix the device. So this trip, plus and minus, we have like we have like one, two, three, four LEDs which are working, and on top, all of them they are working. So, like what I said, LEDs they are current controlled. I said this many many times. These LEDs which are connected in serial mode, they are current controlled even if you short like three four leds the tv will still like the same i heard some people they will say some technicians they were saying if you short leds there will be no smooth flow of current and other LED, other other strip will be working will be taking higher voltage uh, than the one and at the end the the leds won't last that's that's not true that's not true leds are current controlled even if you shot one they will still receive same current okay it's not about voltage here it's about current the right current to light up the leds so what we've done here we just bypass this this is the, this this led died and the whole tv was black why because they are connected in serial mode one led died the screen is black so this is how you fix leds on a on a tv there are so many ways some they are replacing this strip. I do have some strip. I think I showed you. I do have these strips. You see these strips? I don't have this. I do have many strips, but we are not here to replace things. If I replace this strip, what will you learn? What are you going to learn? You are going to learn nothing. You are going to learn nothing if I replace those LEDs. If if I replace like the old strips with the new strips. So yeah, this seems like uh, people they don't understand how things works, especially on. Um, on backlights on a TV a lot of uh, a lot of uh, people from the channel they were asking me how we are fixing LEDs that's how I'm fixing LEDs I'm just shorting LEDs close the TV and the TV will start working again we'll give this TV three months warranty without any fear and uh, what you are how you are checking how you are finding the dead leds that's that is the most important part you have to know these leds they are working with the 40 volts we checked it before the voltage was 40 volts meaning if these these two strips which are connected in serial mode they are working with 40 volts one strip must light up with the half of the that voltage, which is 20 volts. And I come with the 17.6 just to be on the safe side. And uh, with the 17 volts or 20 volts, you must be able to light up one strip here, either this one. I checked this one is lighting. We solve this by elimination method. 
already were, were left with one strip, and I pay my attention on this strip. So if one strip is working with the 20, 20, how many strips do, how many LEDs do you have? One, two, three, four, five, six, six LEDs per strip. So 20 divided by six is the three point something volts. That's why I come with the three point something volts to test each LED. Because the LEDs, they are not the same. Some they are, some they are working with the three point something volts, up to six volts, depending on the size of the TV. So I think I've learned something. So let me put you all together and we'll come back for the final test, okay? It took me exactly 10 minutes to put all together. We've put everything together and our TV is on standby. And power on. It's now on. And we have picture LED TV. These are kind of fake TVs. And our TV is working fine. Can you notice anything on the screen? Like shorter the LEDs? You can't. You can't have the thing. Our TV is working fine. So basically, that's how you fix uh, backlights on a LED TV. If you want to replace, you replace. But I just want to show you my way. It's about uh, how you treat the situation. If the LEDs there are too many, probably you need to re replace the whole strips. Not just the two LEDs. The TV, this TV will work fine. I don't hesitate to give guarantee on this kind of job. So, yeah. It's still on. Full brightness. No like uh, the dim, no like uh, different brightness on the screen. The, the brightness is just uh, even throughout the screen. So, I'll stop this video now. Like, subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell. And also share our videos. Share, guys, to beloved friends and relatives. And also don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you won't meet, miss out any updates from the channel. See you on the next one. Bye.